Well, when I see Steve Barkhouse with Leanne Cusack, I know they are gearing up to share a rental. Sleeves are rolled up, Michael. Yes, we are going to do that. And in a short while, Steve's going to play show and tell with some exciting finds. Yeah. But first off, you decided on the theme. You thought spring, people want change, you want to get organized. And, and this yeah. renovation sort of illustrates that, doesn't it? It really does. The uh, areas that become most disorganized as we live our lives are the kitchen, bathrooms and closets, right? They all get cluttered up. And so if the spring is just the perfect time. You get that excitement and that energy to clean those up. And so we've got some great ideas. Today. It is kind of wild, the psychological lift one will experience when you <laughs> clean out a closet and actually can see the back or the floor, so. I know that to be true because even my children realize that. Oh. But only afterwards. Okay, but, yeah. we're, but we're starting with a renovation. Yeah. And this, for many people, Steve, will look like the after, and in fact, it was one of your afters. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the first times we've ever shown uh, a before and after together. This is an Amstead kitchen from about 18 years ago. Um, it's a country-style kitchen. The house was sold by the original owner, and the new owners came in and wanted to change things up. So this actually now is the before. So you can see the, it's a little bit dated. Again, a, a very different style than what the new owners were looking for, the brick backsplash. Um, an open area, a large, large island, which was the, the idea back then where the family sat up and had their meals, um, but not the taste did of the meal. Did we tour this kitchen? We probably did about eight or nine years ago. Okay. We, we did, yeah. You see the glass block, and so some things that are uh, uh, a little outdated. So here's the new kitchen, very European. Um, the new owners had that European style that they were looking for, and minimalistic. So we had to take advantage of every little space, and that's the theme today, is taking advantage of storage. Now, so, in terms of storage, that looks like there's so much less carpentry. And yet, there's more square footage of storage in there than there was in that other kitchen, believe it or not. I knew you'd know. I knew <laughs> you'd measure. But you can see the little cabinets and different materials, so they just kind of sit in there. Uh, you've got your fridge and freezer tucked in the corner. Right against the wall is a pull-out um, spice rack, which is really, really cool. Um, Great place over for the, cookie sheets as well. Cookie sheets as well, exactly. The other side, we've got some freestanding um, shelves for some more spices and decorations with the stove, the sink, the dishwasher. Um, lots of uh, storage there with drawers and pull-outs and a huge pantry. There was a pantry across the hall as well, but a nice pantry. We got a, the next picture shows it with the doors open and the pullouts, lots of pullouts. So we're taking advantage of every bit of space and we put that stainless steel uh, infill piece there just to tie everything together with the stainless steel uh, fixtures. This looks like a real puzzle and it almost sounds to me as if you doubted whether or not you could garner that much space in, in that you know, small of a piece of cupboardry. Well, exactly, and what we did was we took all of the things that they wanted to put into the kitchen and then design the cabinets around that. So all of the drawers are the perfect height. They all pull out so you have full access to every corner. Their closets are probably really organized too, aren't We're they? We're going to have Steve? a look here. Yeah. You watch. Okay. Uh, so here's the before bathroom. So I think that looks like a very, fairly uh, stereotypical bathroom from about 20 years ago. Um, and this was a Jack and Jill. So it was long and narrow. You could access it from both sides. And so we, uh, we pulled this out and we've put in a, a nice new bathroom. And again, the new modern look. Um, clean lines. It's hard to see on the left hand side there, but that's actually a makeup area with the lights and the mirror. Um, and it pulls out with all the makeup in there, so it's now wonderful. That looks like a lot of space. That looks like you know what? Doesn't it though? And yet we've taken the closet out of the master. That's all we've done, and put it into the bathroom. So the his and hers. So that's the his on on that side there that's opened up. So we've got the shelves at a different height. Everything custom, so that it fits all of their needs. So that everything fits in perfectly. Shoes and dress shirts. What made you want to share this particular project with uh, with our viewers? Well. It's amazing if you plan and look at what you have and what you want to keep, and if you plan for that, how much less space you need, right? It also helps you purge a little bit, but you put the proper storage uh, containers in the right places and everything's tucked away and out of, out of sight. And you've had experiences where you've done a renovation for someone and then they've wanted to downsize, so you, and you bear all of those things in mind. You had fun shopping for we our did. next segment. We really did, yeah. And um, we're going to do a little bit of a build. Actually, let's explain what you were building at the opening of the show. What is this? Yeah, just a shelving unit for a closet, so we can, we can put that together. Um, and again, what we showed in the first segment was custom. What we're showing here is a do-it-yourself. Thank you, because a lot of people cannot afford a custom reno at, at various times or sometimes yep. ever. So these are the kinds of things that you can do it yourself. Absolutely. And we'll are you impressed that. with the quality? And really the Yeah, okay. very sturdy. Yeah, easy to do. Really easy to do. Sturdy and easy. We're going to be back with all of this in a short while.